I feel like nursing school never tells you the alternatives that you can do as a nurse besides working in the hospital. All they teach is working at the bedside, working med surge, and that's it. But you can literally do anything that you want as a nurse, including working in an office setting and working from home. My name is Safia. If you're new here, I posted a video, a nurse salary video on my channel, and I talked about like all of the careers that I've had in the past six years of being a registered nurse. I've had a different job basically every year and I've done something different. And one of the jobs I had was a telephonic case manager that I worked in an office setting and I worked from home with that job as well. One of my subscribers wanted me to kind of touch base on that career path. And so I'm just going to talk about like how I became a nurse case manager, pros, cons, would I suggest it? And you guys can leave it up to yourself if that's something that you're interested in. There's so many different remote jobs. You can be a case manager, telephonic case manager, utilization review, telehealth nurse, data abstractor, coding, a nurse line, but those are the top ones that come into my head. And they're mainly in insurance companies like Blue Cross and Blue Shield, Aetna, Humana, and United Healthcare. Those are like the main um, work from home jobs that I can think of. But there are other companies that offer work from home jobs as a nurse as well. There's a really great website called The Remote Nurse. And it's like this nurse that works from home um, that has that website. And she is always posting like job opportunities, like remote job opportunities, like all over the United States. So you can definitely check that out. With these remote jobs, though, a lot of them require inpatient experience, like one, two, three years. In 2019, I started to work as a nurse case manager. Um, it's not something that I was like looking for, like I wasn't looking for an at-home job or like an office job. It was just something that kind of fell into my lap. I was working bedside at the time for three years and I was really burnt out. And when the opportunity presented itself, I wanted to try to see if I would like it. I always had these questions in my mind like, oh, I wonder if I would like like an office style job, like that kind of lifestyle Monday through Friday and you can wear like business casual and everything's super chill. I have a lot of family and friends that work that kind of job and I'm always just kind of like envious because I don't know if that, that was something that I would like. I found out about this telephonic case manager job from a colleague. She posted something on Instagram and about the job and it sounded like really intriguing to me. So I applied for the job, I went in for the interview, and um, it was like, it was really nice. Such a change in scenery, like it was in a big, like tall sky rise building in the city and like a bunch of windows and you can see all like the cubicles and I thought it was like super nice to be in an environment where it wasn't so stressful and everyone isn't just running around like they're crazy. So I really liked the vibe and I got the job and for the first couple of weeks like I was really digging it like I liked that lifestyle of just you know dressing how I wanted to. I never really had anxiety like the day before coming to work and like my nerves were so calm when I would come into work and just like get settled in my cubicle, have my cup of coffee and just slowly start my day versus coming in at 7 a.m. and having patients automatically start yelling at me. <laughs> so it was definitely, it was such a nice change. Like my stress level went from here all the way down to the floor. And the position was offering me, I think like $5,000 more than what I was making at the bedside. Plus they had merit increases and they had, I think, biannual bonuses. So it was like a really well-paying job. I was working four 10-hour shifts from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. And after six months of working in the office, um, you were able to work from home, like part-time. So two days in office and two days at home. But once the pandemic hit, from like March 2020 to November 2020, we were working from home. It was like mid-March when they told us to like pack up all of our shit and go home. And we were working like strictly from home ever since then. So along with like the office vibe and the fact that I could work from home 
the pay and what the job stood for. I really, really wanted to go for it and try it to see if I liked it, um, which I did. But I, there's certain things that I didn't like about it, which is why I left. But it was the main reason why I decided to become a nurse practitioner is the reason why I enrolled into MP school is I wanted to have like more autonomy with my patients and make sure that they really understand their health conditions because it's important. I feel like there's a really big gap in knowledge when it comes to patients and their medical conditions and I wanted to kind of like fill that. So the job itself was a telephonic case manager for an insurance company and basically like you know whenever you go to the doctor or the hospital they bill the hospital or the doctor bills your insurance. So this insurance company looks at how many people have been going to the hospital for the same things like what is their readmission rate and they try and find ways to prevent that if like the patient was following up with their doctor, if they understood like their medical conditions and how to manage it. They're, they're just trying to find ways to prevent hospital readmissions, which will ultimately decrease hospital utilization. So that is where we came into play as telephonic case managers. So a typical day, I would come into the office at nine, nine-ish, and I would just like, chill out, log onto my computer, sip on my coffee, you know, like get my mind right. And I would look at all of the patients that I would be calling for the day. So the type of questions that I would ask my patients when I call them is dependent on like their conditions that they have. So if they're diabetic, I would ask them, you know, do you know the science of high blood sugar, low blood sugar? Do you know how to treat it? Have you gotten your annual diabetic retinopathy exam, your annual foot exam? Other calls that we would do would be, um, we would see patients that were recently discharged from the hospital and we would call them and ask them, you know, do you understand like your post discharge instructions? Do you have any questions about your discharge paperwork? Um, have you gotten your medications that you were discharged with? If they've had surgery, do you have your surgery appointment set up? Do you know how to care for your incision? So it was a lot of like, post management care like after the fact so like after you know when you work inpatient and you discharge patients you know you do your job as an inpatient nurse but after that it's up to the patient to understand how to follow up with their care and a lot of them they don't really understand especially if you're hospitalized and you go home it's just like a lot of information and it can be overwhelming so these calls were supposed to help benefit and promote like health changes and management to prevent readmissions to the hospital. But there are a lot of things that I didn't like. Um, I ended up like hating the job after a while. The thing about this job is that you had to be on the phone majority of the time. So you would call a patient and you would like check up on them, see how they're doing. And then you have 10 minutes after that call to chart on them to document like everything that you guys discuss and then once that 10 minutes is up then you're supposed to be on another call with a patient and sometimes these calls are like 30 40 minutes long so it's just like a, it was a lot of talking so i really didn't like that about the job and it was micromanaged so there was like this team i forgot what they are called but they're basically like monitoring your times on how long you've been on a call so if you're on a call for longer than 30 minutes they will like message you and be like you've been on the the phone call for too long or like if you're after the call if you're documenting over 10 minutes They'll message you and be like, you've been in after call work for too long. So there's like a lot of micromanagement. And I'm like, you guys want me to talk on the phone for 10 hours and not have like a break? Y'all are tripping. <laughs> and I didn't, I really just did not like that part about it. Another thing that I didn't like was we would be calling the same patients every month and asking them the same questions. And if you didn't ask those questions, then the quality improvement manager or reviewer would listen to your calls and say, oh, well, you didn't ask this question. So it was like so robotic in that sense to where you're talking 
to the same patients and they're getting annoyed because you're asking them the same question that you asked them last month and it's the same answer. So it was just like this ongoing cycle of of like the same thing and I could fit, I could sense that my patients would be so annoyed when I would ask them these questions and then I would feel bad like I would feel like such a bother but then you know they would ding me if I didn't ask these particular questions on top of that you know it's definitely nice like working from home I was like comfortable but then it, you know you're in your space like you wake up and then you go to work and then you log off, you close your computer and you're still like in the same space. There is no separation between home and work. So I think like if I had my house at that time, it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but you know, I was living in an apartment and I don't know. After a while, like after doing it for a couple of months, it just gets very boring. It's the same thing every day. You log onto your computer at nine o'clock you call these same patients, you ask the same questions, and then you log off at seven, and then you start the process all over again. For some people, that might not be a bother. A lot of my coworkers didn't really care that, like they absolutely loved it and they were at the company for years. So you definitely have to figure out like, what's your personality type? What kind of work environment that you want to be in? That was my whole spiel of working as a telephonic case manager. I hope that this was helpful and brought some insights to different things that you can do as a nurse besides working bedside because bedside is not for everybody. We have other videos coming out like my pros and cons of working as a NICU nurse, um, online NP programs that I looked into. So definitely stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. I love all 220 of you guys, yes. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.